Oh, what's happening? A little lunch with Bomb. Happy Monday. When you jump on, drop a thumbs up. Tell me where you're coming from. And uh, as always, uh, like it and share it. I got my Insta Live going, got my Facebook Live. Uh, topic of the day is row your boat. Uh, who is this crazy guy with Bomb anyway? You know, I've been a high school strength coach and PE teacher for 21 years, run my own gym. Uh, you know, I always look at if I could touch one person a day, even a week, even one person a year, if I could just breathe a little positivity into your life, uh, a little pick me up, check up from the neck up, uh, like I got today, um, you know, then it's worth it to me. You know, it brings value. It brings value to me doing this every day. I hope it brings value to you too. You know, if you, uh, if you like what I got going on, appreciate it. Go ahead right now, uh, like it and share it. Uh, also, if you're uh, watching the live, drop a one. Uh, if you're watching the replay, drop a two. And if you're a first timer on here, drop a three. Uh, I'd love to connect with you and uh, see what you got going on. See some people jumping on right now. Uh, anyway, uh, row your boat. And uh, what I mean by that is, have you ever have you ever rowed a boat? What up, Brett? Uh, Tyler, what's going on, my man? Uh, have you ever rowed a boat and couldn't figure it out? And it always kind of went, some people just went in a circle. Uh, I, I kind of, I'm making a connection to like a lot of people's everyday situations. You know, they feel like they're rowing, but they're just rowing in a circle. And I want to share two things with you. So you know the oars, right? You, there's got to be rhythm. There's got to be sync in order to make things go smoothly in the boat to go in the direction that you want it to go, right? Right? And the, the two things, the two oars, you have whatever your belief system is, and then you have action. So a lot of, a lot of people, have, they believe what they believe. Uh, actually, it was an interesting one on that uh, is that uh, this morning I posted, what's your favorite baseball team? And I, I'm not talking about like your team team. I'm like, put together uh, your favorite players of all time. And they don't have to be the best players, your favorite players. And this is connecting to uh, your belief system, right? So I have, my, I have my one favorite player that I love. I have my favorite outfielders that I love. Anyway, so my whole point was like, hey, what's your favorite baseball team? Give me a list, top to bottom, you know, uh, you know, who's your favorite pitcher, first base, second base, short, you know, the whole thing, right? Is, so go back and check that out. Is what's your, what's your, what's your favorite, I wanna know, what's your favorite baseball team? And uh, go ahead and drop it in my other post. Uh, that I did this morning, but belief system, right? You, you have to create what that is. A lot of people have a belief system and it's not a good one. You know, they're, they're, they're always negative. Uh, they're, they're always complaining about why they can't do something. Uh, you know, it's always boohoo me and they never get anywhere, right? Because they, they have this like negative thought in their head or this negative belief, but the other road, the, the other or doesn't go anywhere. So they're just spinning in a circle and they keep doing the same things. Definition of insanity, right? You know, it's you could even go with the one or is your goal and the other or is your plan and they got to work together. So your belief system and there has to be action. Whatever, whatever you're doing, uh, you know, I've, I've done a whole bunch of posts on goals and, you know, plan. And I've even thrown out a bunch of free stuff that, uh, you know, if you need any help, you need it's a mental checkup and working with some folks just some personal coaching is that if you need a checkup from the neck up just message me i'll give you some stuff that we're doing right and uh anyway but going back to it what's your belief system and you have to have action you know too many people say oh, i'll do it tomorrow i'll do it on friday oh shoot i'm gonna do it next week i'm gonna wait till the first of the year you know tomorrow turns into never as it never gets done. So I'm going to throw a couple things just at you because uh, I always tell folks to do these things. But number one is write things down. Uh, you, you have a way better chance of accomplishing whatever you want to accomplish. Make a checklist. Make a checklist tonight what you're going to get accomplished tomorrow. One to five, one to ten. I don't care how many things. Shoot, start with one thing. You know, if you want to really change some life habits, whatever they are, uh, you have to change one belief or, and one action at a time. All right, if you pick one thing, you have an 80 some percent chance of making it a life habit. If you pick too many things at one time, that's where people mess up. That's why we always, us trainers, us coaches, you know, we always say, don't wait till the new year, start today. Don't wait till the first of the year because you know what's gonna happen is two, three weeks in, you change too many things, you're gonna fail. I says, how many of you, raise your hand, uh, if you had a new year's resolution that you actually stuck to, right? And I'm going to spin that around and, and say, you know, let's make an action plan today, not, not wait till the first of the year. 
I don't care what it is. Could be your health, could be your workouts, could be your job situation, uh, could be your recycling, uh, community service. I don't care what it is, is make an action plan, write it down. And then you can go back and you can review it afterwards. The bit, one of the biggest things that people, uh, they, can't, uh, they can't go back and reassess what there, it's like a, a workout plan. We write our workout plans, so we document them so that we can go back and we can look at them and then say, you know, kind of that whole plan do review. I write the plan and then I do the plan and then I review it and I go back and I reassess. It's the same thing with our goal setting. Write our goals down. All right, do our do whatever we're 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 doing, and then go back and reevaluate. That's the part, the one or. It has to be. You have to have action. All right, you can't have a goal without a plan. You can't have a plan without a goal you, because you just end up spinning around in a circle. I'm rowing one oar, but I got a garbage belief system, or I got a great belief system, but I got no action. Right? You got to those two got to work together if you want your boat to go in the direction uh, that you that you're going. So. Uh, I'm gonna throw a, a little challenge out to you. Uh, drop a comment down below. Is what's one thing that you want to accomplish this week before Friday, and then another thing that you want to accomplish this month before the first of the year. Just like I said, if you say oh, I'm gonna wait till the, the new year to start, most people won't because tomorrow turns into never. So two things for you. Two things for you. Number one, what's one thing you're gonna accomplish today? that you can get done this week and then what's one thing that you can accomplish by the end of the new year and it can be as big or as small as you want it to be here's the thing is I want to be your accountability I want to be your accountability because if you write it down I can keep tabs on you okay one that's one of my little strategies that I've been doing with folks is uh, write it down even if you want to you got my private number go ahead and take a picture of your goal and message it to me all right I'll be your accountability make sure that happens so once again uh, wrapping this thing up is Row your boat. You got to have a belief system. You got to have a goal and a plan. But the other side is you got to have action. All right. You got to put the two and two together in order, order to get your boat going uh, in the direction that you want it to go. All right. So one more time. Row your boat. All right. You want some extra footage. Jump over on my Insta.